He was oh, you're it. right. Yeah, he's he, more hateable, right? He was, I got kicked out. Crack cocaine. I gotta feed my addiction somehow. No, it's just my nipples are cold. Like, they're spiky hard. Today we're going to Seattle. I have no idea why we're going or where we're going. All I know is that we're definitely going to Jollibee because I need to get some hollow hollow and fried chicken. So, uh, uh, uh. I know we're going to like Chinatown, Seattle because come on, like And I'm going with my parents, so that's all like old people know where to go. So Okay, but anyways, I need to get going because driving there is like three hours and then driving back is another three hours. So it's a six hour round trip, which I'll be sitting in a car a lot doing nothing, which sounds sort of boring. Uh, but you know, trying to make this day most fun that I can. I have really no idea where we're going, but I'll fill you guys in when we get there. Okay, so I'm at Jollibee right now. Okay, so I'm at Chow King right now, and I just got my holo holo. Wow. Oh my god! Wow! But let me tell you, Jollibee was the best fried chicken I've ever had. KFC and Popeye does not compare. Do you want a bite? I think I like the one at Jollibee better. Jollibee has more stuff in it, but this one doesn't really have a lot. Okay, so I lied early in the vlog. I'm not spending a whole day in Seattle. At most, I'm only spending like five hours because we start the car late and it takes us six hours to drive to Seattle. Naughty, naughty. You teasing me. You know. And to be honest, we're not really in Seattle. Fucking liar. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Jollibee Hollow Hollow is way better than this one. This one sort of sucks. It's just ice and nothing. I got scammed. Okay, so I'm trying to eat my Hollow Hollow as fast as I can because I have somewhere to be. But it's so cold. A lot of people are staring at me, but let me finish this hollow hollow and I'll see you guys in Daiso. Okay, so I'm at Daiso right now, and there's so many snacks! Look at these cool onigiri. I think they're like instant onigiri, so like, once you add in water, you shake it up and then shape it into an onigiri, and then like, in five minutes it pops out or something. I really want to buy one because I've seen them on YouTube and they seem really cool, but they're pretty expensive, $4 each. And everything at Daiso got so much more expensive, so I don't know what I'm gonna buy. Okay, so I'm leaving South Center Mall, and it, everything is so pretty here. Let's... We're lost, and we don't know where the other people that we came with are. I guess we're just gonna live here, sleep here, like mall hobos. Huh? Okay, so we're actually gonna drive to Seattle now, so I'm no longer gonna become a liar. But we need to find a ride first, so I will see you guys there. Okay, so I'm at Pike Place right now, and everything is so cool. There was recently this dude who was throwing fish around and having people catch it, which is sort of nasty and dirty at the same time, but so crazy. Come here, bitch. And by myself, the people that I came here with, they walked away without me. There's a lot of food here, and unfortunately, I'm all food out. Like, I'm so full from Jollibee's that even at, like, the smell of food, I sort of want to puke. Oh. Huh. Hold on, let's check it out. So even at, like, the smell of food, I sort of want to puke. So I'm planning on getting a slice of the Italian mascarpone blanc, a slice of burnt basque, a slice of tiramisu, and a slice of the orange polenta cake. Maybe that's way too much. So I got the burnt basque cake, the tiramisu, and the mascarpone blanc, but the dude sort of dropped it in the bag and everything broke. So let's hope it doesn't look ugly, you know? 
suddenly it got way too crowded, which is why I'm leaving right now, because I don't want to catch the panorama, you know? Maybe this is a bad idea, walking in the middle of the street, because I feel like I'm going to get hit. But then wait, that's going to be a good way to pay for my college, because I oh, need to pay somehow. Oh, got to hurry up. Hey. Hold on. So before I start trying my desserts, I sat down on a grass patch to like film me eating the desserts. And that grass patch, I don't know what was wrong with it. It was really wet. Like a dog probably peed on it before I sounded it. And now my butt is wet and I can feel it through my underwear. And it sucks. So I have the tiramisu right here. It's okay. I heard that the flan was really good. So I'll try that. So here's a bite of the flan. I really like the flan. It's sort of chewy, which the dude said it would be because of the master pony cheese in it. But it's not that sweet. So I usually detest flan because my mom, when I was younger, she used to make it almost every day for no reason. And the food that she makes, it's just okay. It's not that great, but her flan, was absolutely disgusting. It was not flan at all. It was more like just baked eggs that she added like a teaspoon of sugar to. Okay, so I'm trying the burnt bass cake right now. The burnt bass cake is so weird. It's really salty for no reason. And it tastes just like cheese. like. Not cream cheese, but it just tastes like as if someone put in Parmesan cheese into a cheesecake and sold it. I paid $13 for it, so it was like $4 a slice. Wait, did I do it right? Yeah, hold on. Four, eight, twelve. Yeah, so it was like $4 a slice. I would say just get the flan. The dessert on Mishu, not great. If I really learned anything, it would be do not sit on random patches of grass because dogs probably peed on that patch of grass and your underwear and your whole pants are gonna get wet like how I'm feeling right now and it feels so disgusting as if I literally shot myself the other lesson that I learned is that if you see desserts that you really want to buy just buy one dude don't buy all four of them I'm finally home just kidding I'm not from China I'm actually born American, but low key though, it's sort of scary here. I feel like I'm gonna get hate crimed any moment, any second. Chinatown is hella freaky. Like there's no one here, and all the people here, the other like drug addicts, are on crack. Yeah, Chinatown's really scary, right? Maybe we're not fit to be Chinese, cause I'm already scared. What the fuck? There are many things I really wanna try, but I'm so full. And I don't want to like kill myself by eating too much. <gasps> There's a food hall. Hold on, let's go in. I don't want to like kill myself by eating too much. Uh, We're not going in. It was a bus. It wasn't, it wasn't that special. Yeah. But, uh, the bookstore is worth take a look. Okay. Okay. Some, uh, I see yeah, I'm gonna go into the bookstore. I'll see you guys later. The library was a bus. There's too many people, so I got kicked out. Chata is where you eat and you meet old friends. I feel like I'm still gonna get hate crimed here by right. old friends or by new people. Anything could happen. Like, look at I me, mean, yellow skin. I could get hate crime this second. Yeah, you're just being paranoid. If you get hate crime, your dad probably will get him already. Oh, you're right, yeah. He's more <laughs> hateable, right? <laughs> oh my God, the condensation for my tea literally dripped out of my shirt and now my nipples feel cold. <laughs> are you serious? I'm pretty serious. You need a jacket. No, it's just my nipples are cold, like they're spiky hard. Your, your, your dad is always very unhappy, always complaining your mom didn't appreciate him. But at the same time, he never appreciated your mom. I mean, like, how can you appreciate trash, you know? Ah, come on. That's sort of difficult. Yeah. Yeah. When they come back, we will have to eat. Go back to eat. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with dinner, but I still really when I get that like uh, purple rice drink and the Korean hot dog. Mm, no. I have the worst luck ever. A lot of the stuff that I ordered or that I wanted, they ran out of stock at the last minute. Loser. But I finally got my uh, Korean hot dog. Mm. 
damn it, this shirt is brand new and I got everything all over it. I swear to God, crossing the road here is so scary. Everybody jaywalks and I don't know whether I should jaywalk or not. But then like suddenly, when I jaywalk, it seems like all these cars are after me. Okay, so I got another tea because I'm addicted to milk tea and the trashy sweet stuff. So I gotta feed my addiction somehow. And this is also why I'm like broke, poor, penniless. I need to change my habit, huh? Oh, the guy. Yeah, even, even you agree, right? But anyways, I still gotta feed my addiction somehow. So it's either this or I do drugs. Crack cocaine. <sighs> Don't do drugs, kids. It never ends up well. There are many examples in Seattle Chinatown. Now we're going home, and let's hope I don't pee my pants in the four-hour drive. 